Can you just give your name and your clinic? Uh, I'm Dr. Kwon Han Jin, uh, MB Clinic Network, MB uh, which stands for Natural Beauty Clinic. And we have about 20 clinics around the Korea, and we have a one in also in Philippines. Okay, can you talk about and describe your uh, stem cell IV drip procedure? Yeah. Mm, actually, uh, there are many kinds of uh, stem cell uh, procedures in the, uh, in the clinic nowadays, but we have uh, this uh, special procedure which you can finish uh, within three hours setting without any culture. Uh, and it's a very simple, but it is a very effective. So we have undergone more than uh, 200 patients, and we see, we have seen the tremendous results. And what are uh, the tr uh, the results in what areas? Mm, actually, I am concentrating more on the uh, cosmetic area. Uh, in a way, uh, you look uh, uh, gloomy, and your fine wrinkles and your skin tightening will. Uh, with the, uh, will improve with this uh, stem cell therapy and also in general you will have a better feeling, better stamina and you have more power. Where do the stem cells come from? Uh, actually uh, there are many sources of stem cells like uh, blood, uh, skin uh, and also uh, bone marrow and etc. but we are using the adipose derived stem cells, which means we use your own fat. It's an autologous. Okay. Is there any danger of rejection? Uh, actually, uh, uh, when we talk about stem cells, many people are afraid about uh, stem cells, like uh, the famous doctor in Korea, which is, uh, who is uh, called Hwang Oso, he he's using the embryonic stem cells. Uh, using the uh, body cells from the cow and he gets the nucleus from the human and he fusion it and then he made a new life. It's very famous in Korea. But this one is from your own stem, own fat cell. So you, you will never get any rejection or you will never have any allergies. Well, what happens when the stem cells go into your body? Mm, uh, we can say in a word, uh, it acts uh, in your body parts which you need it. So those people who have a weak, uh, I mean, weak, <coughs> for example, weak liver function, those stem cells will work more on the liver and easily make your liver more healthier than before. Those people who have, uh, for example, weak hearing, this will help you to hear better than before. How do you get the stem cells from the patient? Mm, we usually get the uh, uh, fat uh, around the tummy, I mean abdomen, or inner thigh, or outer thigh. Uh, we have to ex uh, get about 100 cc of fat, and we have to extract uh, uh, tumor vascular fraction, which are the stem cells are inside, and so we can get about more than five. Uh, Five million, uh, five million cells, five fifty million cells. And how do you reintroduce the stem cells into the patient? Uh, we have uh, many ways to reintroduce it to the patient. Uh, for example, we can shoot through the IV, IV injection, and we can also <coughs> uh, shoot with a metal therapy or dermal roller to the uh, hair scalp and also to the skin on the face. And also we can do the fat graft with a stem cell graft to the face and also to the breast. Um, also we can do penile enlargement, which is good for uh, the male. Can you discuss more about your your breast augmentation with the stem, fat stem cells? <coughs> yeah. Uh, actually, in the market, uh, usually they put silicone or cohesive gels or normal saline bags to the breast to have augmentation. But uh, as, as you know, they are all foreign bodies to your, you, yourself, so they might cause some uh, trouble later. And you, you will have a scar while you are putting these things 
to in your breath. But this uh, stem cell with a fat, we are using your own fat cell, so there is no rejection, there is no allergy, and uh, actually with the fat graft alone, you might have uh, you have left only about 30 to 40 percent of what you have put, but after we are combining with the stem cell, the survival rate will be more than 60 to 70 percent. What are the benefits of uh, breast augmentation with fat stem cells in comparison to silicone and saline implants? Yeah, you know, in a way, they are not, they are foreign bodies to your, yourself, but this uh, fat and stem cells, we are using your own, so there's no harm, no allergy, and the shape, and when you touch it, it's just like a natural. Do the patients um, do the patients like the fat stem cells more than the silicone implants? Yeah, of course. Everybody likes it better than the artificial one. And especially, uh, you have no danger of any other uh, rejection. Uh, yeah, rejection or steel or any any, <coughs> any other problems. You feel more safe with your own fat cell. And what is the healing process like? Mm, Usually, if you inject uh, foreign materials, like a silicone or normal saline or cohesive gel, it will take more than one month to take a healing, I mean, take a healing. Uh, you feel comfortable because those are very painful procedures and it will, you will have a pain of almost more than one month. But with this fast cell, you won't have a pain and you can have your daily activities uh, with a without any pain. Uh, it's just natural. Yeah. What, how big, how big of the breast size can you increase with mm -hmm. this cell procedure? The minimum is uh, one cup size. But there are people who, who have a more than one cup. But actually this depends on how much fat you're going to inject uh, to, uh, for the breast. Yeah. Can you get two cup sizes? Mm, some of them, but not advisable for everybody and it's not working for everybody but usually the average is one cup size. And uh, can you shape the, 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 the structure of the breast or the, uh, the form of the breast? Mm, if the patient doesn't have any fibrosis or stru structure inside then you can shape it. Yes, it's, uh, it's not really hard. And with the fat stem cell procedure, can you replace a woman who already has a silicone or saline implant? Mm, yeah, those who, if they remove the silicone or implant, then you can re-inject uh, the fat maybe after six months after removal of the foreign bodies. Mm -hmm. And what about women who want breast augmentation with fat stem cells after giving birth? after giving birth. Yeah. Maybe we have to wait a little while uh, so the breast will uh, go down first. <laughs> because right after birth you have uh, the, the hormones are working so you have, we have to wait at least uh, six months. What area of the body do you get the fat stem cells? Uh, we usually get from the abdomen and thighs. Yes, that's the most uh, uh, usual site, which we can get more stem cells. About your clinic, NB Clinic? Uh, uh, we have a website, uh, stemcellcore.com. Yeah. Okay. And does NB Clinic have a website? Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we have a Korean one, but this stemcellcore.com has an English one okay. about the stem cell. Okay. And NB, and the, your MB clinic is located in Seoul, uh, in the middle of the city, Gangnam Station. It's just uh, about a few hundred meters away from the Gangnam Station. And do you train other doctors? Uh, yeah, we we are uh, about 20 franchise clinic in Korea. We train all the doctors uh, here. This is the cent main center for training, and we have also some many visiting doctors from foreign countries. Oh, where are the doctors from today? 
<laughs> yeah, we have uh, doctors from Thailand and Philippines and Malaysia and also from Hong Kong and China. Thank you very much.